Good morning, Tanner. Morning. So, how are you feeling? Alright. Sorry about last night. I had to do some overtime at the office. As long as it's in the office. Baby, I don't choose what assignments I get to do. With all your experience with the Special Forces, haven't you seen enough action already? Baby, I gotta go. Tanner. Careful. So, how's things going with you and Sarah, man? She's acting up every time I come home late, and it's driving me crazy. Ha! <laughs> she loves you, man. You gotta be happy for the things you got, you know? At what level? Are you certain? Yes. I understand the importance, sir. I'll have two of my best agents on it. Hey, Mark, Tamer, Clint wants to see both of you guys in his office. Did he say why? That depends on what you guys did this time. Shit. What did you do? Nothing. I, man, I didn't do a thing. Oh, that's great. You two know why I brought you in here? No sir. no, sir. I just got off the phone with my counterpart at the CIA. Looks like we have a matter of national security. CIA sources indicate a highly trained operative is in town. We need to apprehend him before things go bad. We need him alive for interrogation. Why doesn't the CIA just deal with him? Because if it takes place on U.S. soil, it's FBI jurisdiction. Besides, he's an Egyptian. And why us? For starters, you two are the troublemakers in my agency. Every time you fuck up, I have to pay for it or apologize. Like the last case you roughly handled. But you get things done. I like that. Do you have operatives in Egypt? Well, how am I supposed to know? All I know is we need to find this guy fast and quietly before Sara gets any crazy ideas. Yeah, you're right. Well, at least we know he's in L.A. Saeed Al Sheikh. It's a nice photo, don't you think? Man, I just have feeling about this mission. Mission? <laughs> Does it shoot you? Bob, I told you stop sneaking up on me like this. Sorry. Hey, I'm Bob. You know this guy? Well, I knew him a while back. He used to help sometimes. A little bit calm, just to, you know what I'm saying? When yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Hey. Hey. So, let's talk about that mission, huh? What mission? Do you think you can get us some snacks from the kitchen? Hey, Bob. <laughs> I have a wife who thinks that I'm sitting behind a desk all day long busting white collar criminals, not assassins and not serial killers. You understand that? Yes, uh, I'm sorry. Good. 
Just basic info, that's all we got. Well, that doesn't help much. Can I have a look? No. Hey, <laughs> just give me a look. No, I said no. Hey, <laughs> come on guys, give me a break. Just give, give me a look. Cut, hey. Give me a, give me what, give me two seconds. Okay, me... okay, okay. Do you want to have a break? Find anything you can about this guy. Right. Will do. You got it, huh? Hey, we're back! <laughs> we're back! Hey! Yeah. What are you doing, man? Are you crazy? He's a nut job. That's all right. Just trust me. Just give him any shit and he'll find it. It's your call, man. You found him? Give me the location. So what mission was Bob talking about? What mission? We gotta go. I'm sorry. So what's up? We got him. Where? A small apartment building in Hollywood. Okay, that's good. Clear in here. All clear in here. Well, coffee's still hot. You were right. Close to catching him, man. Yeah, that's what he was trained for. By the way, what's with your car, man? It's an undercover car, asshole. Hello? Yeah. Where? All right. We got him. How did they find him that fast? We had satellites tracking everyone going in and out of the apartment 20 minutes before we got there. So you haven't told him yet? I'm just waiting for the right time. Girl, if you don't tell him soon, he's just gonna think you're getting fat in a couple of months. I don't think he would care. What do you mean he won't care? He's your one and only, isn't he? I know, Sally, but if he really cares, he'd be working a normal 40 hour a week like every other settled man. He got you your picturesque house in the suburbs and your SUV in the driveway. I mean, what are you waiting for? A white picket fence? I guess what Eva's trying to say is, you have to accept your man for who he is. When my Gary joined the LAPD, I thought every day would be our last. But we've been married five years, two kids, and we still go at it like minx every night. Yeah, honey, FBI work can't be much worse. Well, this time we just wait until he shows up. That's a good idea, I'm gonna go around. Okay, cool, be careful. Is that the shit? FBI, I need to ask you a few questions. I'm not who you're looking for. Well, is this your photo? Well, I think it is. Let's go. <laughs> well, Seems like uh, there's no way out. I think it's something I need to work on. Sure.
You crazy son of a bitch! Fuck, man, he came from nowhere. I didn't mean to hit him. It's okay, man. I saw everything. Just get back in your car and drive as if nothing happened. They'll think it's a hit and run. Hey. I'm FBI. Just get in your car. I got it, all right? Get out of here. That was definitely some sort of metal tether training. That son of a bitch you had. Well, well, I say we find him and just shoot him. Hey, man, remember what Clint said, all right? Alive, all right? Come on, man. Ah. Oh my god, Tamara, what happened? It, it just went an accident. So, what's for dinner? Why do you keep doing this to me? What are you talking about? You think I don't know what's going on? The question is who will be there for me if you're gone? Sarah. I've been to Iraq twice, and I've never seen you like this before. What's wrong? I'm pregnant. Don't you? Shit, Bob. I'm sorry, I mean, the door was open and I didn't want to leave this outside. Anyway, about the photo you gave me? Shh, shh, shh. Okay, how about you just swing by the office tomorrow morning and just tell me everything about it? Okay. Thanks, Bob. You got it. <sighs> okay, guys. You guy, he has a degree in material science and engineering of atomic energy from a top-notch university in Cairo and is an expert martial artist. How'd you uh, get this information? I hacked into the system. What system? <laughs> the CIA's. Bob has a degree in computer science. Jesus. <laughs> so you were right. Oh, I almost forgot. This name was mentioned on the file. Scott Wilson. Who's Scott Wilson? Major Scott Wilson. He was a commanding Marine in Iraq when the war began. Now he resides in LA. Well, I think Major Wilson has some answers we need. Good job. Olive is pregnant. What? Congratulations, man. Yeah, thanks. How did you deal with it? Well, I, I didn't do it by myself. My wife and I did it together. It's teamwork. I know, just, uh, well, I'm not ready for it now. Just wait till the first time you hold your firstborn, look into her eyes, your life's gonna change forever, man. I promise you. I hope so. <laughs> Here we go. Major Scott Wilson? I'm Special Agent Noble. This is Special Agent Ibrahim. FBI. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Sir, we need to ask you a few questions about Saeed Sheikh. I don't know anybody by that name. Do you have any idea why your name is mentioned in a CIA file along with his? I don't know. Sir, Saeed Sheikh is in LA. We could really use your help, sir. Dorsey, something's come up. Can you pick up Rachel for me? Thanks. This way, gentlemen. The real problem that we had with Operation Iraqi Liberation is that we announced the war before we even started the bombing raids. And the goddamn insurgents got out before we even dropped the first bomb, and then we announced victory just a few weeks later. And how does Saeed fit into all of this? When the insurgents were out of the country, they found financial backers. And with the help of those backers, they were able to bomb us and make us look bad after we had declared victory. That's when I decided to use Saeed. And I green-lighted him, setting up IEDs wherever they could find them. And unfortunately, and not to our liking, 
There was lots of collateral damage, mostly women and children. Thank you, Major. He must be fucked in the head if he came all this way to whack off a retired Major. Well, he's not here for Major Wolves. Well, then what's he here for? Well, think about it. I understand your frustration, Tamer. But keep in mind that DC never authorized me to disclose any more sensitive information. So what's an Egyptian specialist in making improvised explosives doing in Iraq in the first place? This country has a lot of allies in the Middle East. Said was recruited by the CIA as a covert agent, a hitman to take out all our adversaries. Well, then why doesn't the CIA get one of their own to do their dirty work? Because a white guy can't have access to the Iraqi brain trust, unless he fits in with some of the locals. And all this was done for what, Clint? Exchange for military technology, high-tech missile defense systems, financial aid for a good Arab ally. Yeah. Well, tell the CIA congratulations, because every time they screw up, we have to clean the shit after them. Hey guys, thanks for taking me along. It's been such a long time since I've seen any action. Yeah, just whatever happens, just keep your head down, okay? You got it. Okay guys, so you know what to do, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. So are we sure he's gonna show? Affirmative. So why am I standing here? Well, in case if he's really stupid enough to come from the main street. No, I mean, why am I standing here while you're sitting in the car? Because it's my car. Son of a bitch. He's here. He's here. Say it. You can't stop me. Well, you and I, we both know that you are not going to accomplish what you came for. I'm doing to them what you did to the Iraqi people. So what the fuck you were doing in Iraq in the first place? You went there with the sole purpose of killing innocent people. And that's what you signed up for. I was promised that Quagmire of Iraq has become, would be better with my help, but it was all lies. Only the innocent people ended up dead. Oh, that's great. So you came here for revenge so you can kill more innocent people. So tell me something. What's the difference between you and those who made Iraq the hellhole it is? <laughs> What's the difference between you and I? I'll tell you. I win. You lose.
Clint said alive. Do you think I give a fuck about what Clint wants? As an FBI agent, when you sit behind a desk for too long, you become rusty in fighting, and that's what happened. I know those people. When they set up their mind in doing something they think it's right, it's set. It's done. And this was the only way to stop him. They say kill one to save a hundred, and kill a hundred to save a thousand. Don. Oh my God, Tamar, what happened to your face? I'm okay. Go ahead, say it. Say what? Say you were right and I was wrong. Tamar, it's not like that. Tamar. What? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm making up fights on the street so my face can look like this? Do you think I'm having fun? Today, I took a life of a man who in different circumstances could have been a friend. Why? Because it's the right thing for everyone's safety, including our future child. And that's why I'm out there, Sarah. Don't follow me. <laughs>